Hi guys, welcome here again to another today's news. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are listening from. The National Chairman of the Ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, Senator Abdullahi Adamu says he will give the performance of President Muhammadul Buhari led administration pass in rating. Adamu accepted that there are increasing security challenges in the country. However, boasted that despite his party with the control of 22 states out of the 36 states of the Federation will still retain power in 2023. The former governor of Nasarawa State, who spoke while featuring on a Rights TV program, to talk about APC's chances in the 2023 general elections, said that the insecurity in the country didn't start with his party. He said, as I speak to you, we have 22 APC states, and I don't have a reason to believe that we are not going to win. I don't contemplate any situation that can make us lose the election. But... That's not to say we don't have to work for it. We are working for our victory and by the grace of God, victory will be ours in 2023. He admitted that there were challenges with insecurity in the country but noted that President Muhammad Buhari's government was doing its best to address them. But despite the obvious failures of the APC government being led by Buhari, Adam said he would give the president a pass mark or credit for his performance so far. Adam stated, There is no denying the fact that we face serious security problems. There is no doubt about it, but if we are to be fair, the security challenges we are facing did not start with the administration of APC. I will give him, that is Buhari, a pass mark. I repeat, I will give him pass mark or credit. That is what has been said. What is your own reaction to this? Senator Abdullah Adamu, the national chairman, of the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, says he is going to give the president of Nigeria's led administration, according to performance, a pass in rating. It shows that despite the killings and other security challenges, Buhari will get pass mark and APC also will retain the power in 2023. That is what the party's national chairman have said. As he make boost, of the present situation. What is your thought to this? He never said security situation in Nigeria is good. He never supports the insecurity we are having. He never denied the fact that Nigeria is facing a tough time, but is claiming that this insecurity situation, you know, did not just start when APC, you know, assumed the office. It already started even before APC came into power. But if you could recall, back then we had insecurity, we had security issues, and Nigerians, we all thought that changing to APC will bring a different dimension to Nigeria. Not knowing that the dimension we are going to is going to be in a negative way. We were thinking of a positive impact of the APC change, but to our own surprise, it was on the negative side, imagine President Muhammad Buhari being a military commander, a retired military commander, yet piloting the affair of the most, you know, attacked country when it comes to insecurity. Who would like you to let us know your own point of view to this? Do you think APC can still retain power despite the security challenges? As a Nigerian citizen, would you also give a pass mark or a credit mark to the president of Nigeria despite the killings and other security challenges? Well, 
we would like you to drop your thoughts via the comment section on this that has been said. But before we go, let's see people's reactions to this. Elijah Mpara reacted to this and said, Senator Adamo is still living in full paradise. Unknown to him that Buhari knows that if he make mistakes, hand over power to Tinobu or Atiku, Nigeria is finished. His only better alternative to save Nigeria from collapse is Peter Obi. Buhari know himself as a lesser devil compared to Atiku and Tinobu. That is what has been said by Elijah. George Gift also reacted and said, even if Nigerians were caused with suffering, we must liberate ourselves from calamity called APC come 2023. God punish you. I stand with Peter Obi. We've had different reactions from different people saying that even if Nigerians were caused, you know, if Nigerians were caused, we have to liberate ourselves from calamity called APC come 2023. Ikanke Ibi also reacted and said, that's because you know and think Nigerian politicians and party doesn't win election because of performance most times. They win because of factors such as political capital, ethnic sentiments, esoteric, and not performance. What is your thought to this? A lot of people have reacted differently concerning the present situation of things as we all know what has been said by the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Adamon, as he made boost of Buhari's, you know, administration saying that despite the killings and other security challenges, I was to give Buhari a pass mark or even credit. And APC will retain power come 2023. Are you in support of this? Are you in support of this? These people are heartless politicians and that is one of the reasons in Nigeria. These people are heartless and Nigerians are suffering as a result of their heartlessness. According to what has been said by Blessing, he said, God Almighty will never forgive all these heartless politicians and their generation. These people are just, you know, laying costs on themselves and their coming generation because the way they are treating Nigerians, Nigerians are not pleased with it. We trusted these people. That was why they were appointed as one leader or the other. But to our greatest surprise, they came up to deceive and Nigerians are now regretting the actions. Don't forget that BDP is already picking up little by little and we hope that APC will lose power come 2023 and cause choice will be chosen because both Tunubu, Atiku and even Peter will be. We don't know who the next president of Nigeria will be among them. Nigerians cannot be trusted. Don't forget that. Don't forget that despite the killings and other security Challenges, Buhari was to get pass mark and episode retain power in 2023. That is what the party national chairman have said. Adamu, thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not, and I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.